Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. Hope you're having a good time with your family and friends and liking these sessions. In today's video, I'm here to talk about Chloromize, what it can do for you, and what are the steps involved in order to implement this. Now, generally talking to the organization, the common question that arises is that uh, they're in the middle of uh, moving their resources to Azure, but they want to get an idea about how that will look from the deployment perspective and uh, from the pricing perspective before they start moving these resources, maybe in phases or in one go. So that's an important, uh, I will say, step in the whole migration to uh, cloud. Doesn't matter which cloud vendor you're using, whether it's like Azure, AWS, or GCP. And that is where Cloudomize tool will fit into. So as you can see, I'm on the dashboard, and this is where you'll control all these uh, different deployment. And because this is a multi-tenant, so if you're an MSP provider, you can control these assessment, deploy these assessments for your customers and manage everything from one interface. So what is the first step? The first step will be to create a new order for your end customer. So you can see that uh, there's a add new order button. So I'm going to click on this and you just need to fill in some basic information. For example, for the company that you're trying to do assessment and the person who will be in charge for this assessment. You need to provide a company name, first name, last name, and the email address that is associated with this assessment. I'm just going to provide these basic information. And then you also have to select what region uh, that you want to utilize. So there are two, one is in US and the other was in Europe because this assessment tool talks to your on-prem environment and it is totally cloud hosted. So you need to pick which region you want to utilize for this uh, data to be sent. And uh, this is totally encrypted. So you don't need to worry about uh, anybody uh, getting access to your data. So in our case, uh, I'm going to use US Central because that is closer to me. And then you have to select how many nodes you want to assess. A node can be a physical or a virtualized machine. So depending upon if you have a VMware or Hyper-V, if you're running five or 10 VMs, then you need to put that number. Or if you're running physical infrastructure, you need to put that many numbers over here. And uh, you can also specify assessment duration, how long you want to run the assessment. And uh, you can upload the uh, PO file here. You can also give the name for your order just to segregate different customers and uh, what IES provider you want to use. In our case, we are talking about Azure, so I'm gonna use that. And I will also provide the email to which the uh, billing information will be sent. And uh, once you click on the submit button, it will just take a couple of seconds. And uh, once that uh, order has been placed, you'll see that uh, under the email for Cloudomize application. Now I've already done this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this company tech data test for this uh, deployment. And you can see that in the application, I have this launch button visible. So I'm going to click on this. And at this stage, edit configuration. And as I said, that Cloudomize tool is infrastructure agnostic. So if you have VMware or if you have Hyper-V, whether it's Windows or Linux machine, you can use this tool to assess your environment. So from the left side of the screen, you can see that I have inventory setting and pre-cloud. But the first step you want to do is in case, say for example, you have a VMware. So you need to set that up and you can click on setup. Then you need to provide the vCenter information. Now, depending upon if your vCenter has a public IP, uh, you will provide that information. If it doesn't have, then you need to provide a proxy server. You need to download that. You can download that onto your vCenter machine or on a separate machine because it needs to talk to the Cloudomize cloud server. And uh, you also need to create a user which will have read-only permission on your vCenter. So that's the prerequisite that needs to be done before you uh, onboard your uh, 
vCenters to Cloudomize assessment tool. If you're running Hyper-V, it is pretty straightforward. You can just go to, under agent setup, you go to assess and you can go under the windows and you just need to download this agent. You can see the download installer and uh, you will get this, uh, this key that you need to input while you are running that uh, file. So what I've done is that uh, I have a machine on-prem and it's with the name TAR, as you can see, right? I've already installed that uh, agent that I was talking about. And once that agent is installed, you can see that uh, under the applications and program, this is the agent I'm talking about, but this, that is how this will talk to the Cloudomize server. So Cloudomize Windows agent, because it's a Windows machine that is already downloaded. And you'll see under the applications and features on your server. Now this server is a 2019 data center edition. That is what I'm using for assessment. But basically you just download that agent on the machine. In case you're running hypervisor, you just need to add the hypervisor for VMware. As I have showed you, if you're running Hyper-V, you just need to install that agent at the hypervisor level, and then all the machines will populate for you. So I've already done this step, so I'm just going to minimize this. And once that uh, machine is uh, added, I'm just going to go under inventory setting. And you can see that the machine name is here, the IP address, or you know, what is running, if it's running Windows or Linux. The important thing I will say is the agent status. So while at, uh, you are adding this, you know, you might see that it's under the you know, onboarding state. You need to make sure that uh, this has been changed to collection uh, data before you start assessing your machines, right? And uh, once that is done, you can just go and click on start assessment. But before I do that, I just wanted to also point out that uh, you can use this assessment tool uh, by using both agent as well as agent less method. So if I can just go back to the agent setup, you can see I also have this option of uh, agent less. So in case you're in an organization where they don't allow you to install any agent on the machine, though it's a very lightweight, you can also use the agent less method it will basically do the same thing, uh, what the agent uh, option will do. Maybe a little bit more information will be grabbed, but both these options are available, agent as well as agentless method. So in my case, I'm using the agent method and I'm just gonna go back to the inventory setting. And uh, once my machines are there, under the inventory setting, I will start assessing my machine. And you can pick how long you want to assess this machine for, right? So I can go and start assessment. I can click on the start button. And at this stage, as I said that in our case, we are talking about uh, Microsoft Azure. So that is what is visible. But in case you want to use uh, maybe AWS, you can also utilize that too. And then the first option you want to use, what is your region of preference, right? Because as you know that when we talk about uh, public cloud, specifically if I talk about Microsoft Azure, different region has different pricing based on the real estate. So depending upon which region you're thinking of uh, utilizing for hosting your uh, servers and your storage, you want to use one or the other. In my case, I'm going to use Canada Central because it will compile all the information based on this region and give me uh, assessment uh, based on the pricing in this region. You can also specify for how long you want to run this assessment. Generally, it is recommended that you run this for at least two weeks so that uh, we can gather all the information, whether it's peak or downtime, so that we get an average and give you the right assessment based on uh, that duration. And you can tweak it accordingly over here. Now, what I'm going to do, this is a demo environment, so I'm just going to uh, run this for maybe uh, two days, and you can click on the Save button. Okay, you can see it says data processing and can be earlier than March 14th. So, okay, let's change this to 14th. I think it's using the default proposed date is saying, and let's click on the Save button. So it is saying that, you know, you should use this at least for uh, two weeks. 
so that you get a good idea about what it will look when the deployment takes place on the Azure side, from the pricing, from the node sizing, what storage you should be using, all those things, right? And now that assessment has uh, started and you can come back later on, maybe within two weeks or after that, to get a clear picture of how it will look. So these are the steps that you need to take when you are thinking of uh, assessing your environment by using Cloudomize tool. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.